Once upon a time, in a land far, very far away, a strange disease was confusing scientists everywhere. Even Falcon, immersed in his encyclopedia, was baffled, baffled by this strange phenomenon. Patients complained, complained of a peculiar set of conditions, excessive sweating, urination, and general fatigue. What could possibly be leading to these symptoms? They wondered and wondered, but all to a loss. For even though they searched high and low, they didn't know where to go to find a cure that was so unknown. It's the 17th century, and the British physician, Thomas Willis, has been researching this disease for years. Patients would visit his practice, and they had all the obvious signs and symptoms. Willis would examine them. All the patients were thirsty and always felt the urgency to go to the restroom. Willis felt that the patient's urine held the answer to this medical mystery. He examined it in every possible way. He smelled, he sniffed, and yes, he tasted. And my Oh my. He seems to like it. Mm. He definitely likes it. Mm -hmm. But why? Because it's sweet. And hence the name Diabetes mellitus. We are in Germany and it's the year 1869. Welcome to the autopsy room. A group of German medical students with their professor are dissecting the abdomen. What's this? I think we've discovered a new organ. The pancreas. And there stood a young man by the name Paul Langerhans. He had a bright idea. Langerhans discovered that the pancreas was made up of two types of cells and that the disease diabetes mellitus was caused when one of those cells was destroyed. Oh. Now, knowing that the pancreas was connected to diabetes mellitus, Friedrich Banting and Charles Best decided to explore the depth of this connection by an experimental surgery. Their researches led to the exception of insulin from the pancreas. After collecting the insulin, they injected it into a diabetic drug and waited for the results. Everybody was pleased with the outcome. But not so fast. As it turned out, that the dog was injected with too much insulin. But actually, that didn't stop them from celebrating their achievement. In our days, things have changed. For the better, we hope. Obstacles removed, barriers crossed. Different methods are used for the risk. Subcutaneous injections. Out. That's painful. Or 
Hill Hill. Hmm, poor old lady. I hope she can swallow them. Those teenagers, they can give us such a hard time in the medical profession. The inhaler device. It's all insulin in the end. Promoting the chance of a better life for diabetics. With plans on turning a better life into a normal one. And maybe the future will hold a radical cure for diabetes mellitus. Today, medical students, tomorrow's doctors, our future.